Patients had to wear gowns and hospital issue socks home after their clothes were cut off in the ER. It's a need that many of us really don't even mm -hmm. think about it because we have friends and family close to us, which just bring us something extra to wear. Well, now Metro Health has found a solution to discharge their patients with dignity. News 5's Amanda Van Allen has that story. When there's an emergency, there's no time to save clothing. So lots of shirts, pants, and everything in between get cut off of patients in Metro Health's emergency department. Patients were being given a gown or a paper suit and slipper socks to go home in. But now, instead of thin, hospital-issued, makeshift clothes, there's a section in the hospital dedicated to clothing those who need it most, like our homeless population. Coats, shirts, sweaters, zip-ups. We have folks that come in here because they're exposed to the elements. They're, they have frostbite. Um, in, the, in the warm months, they have heat stroke. And they come in here and their clothing is really not something that they should leave in. These look like they came from a store. They are. They're all right now. They call it discharged with dignity, and it's getting lots of use. I just had a patient I had to cut all of her clothes off because she broke her arm and the most upsetting thing to her was that her clothing was cut off because she doesn't have anything. So I was able to come back and get her multiple shirts, coats to go home with, and she was the most grateful for that. There are so many different clothes here in just about every single size imaginable. Nurses here tell me you'd be surprised how many patients really utilize this closet daily. And there is a local church in town who is helping them keep everything here fully stocked. If you don't have a connection with the poor, you're not paying attention to the gospel. Bob Kloss is the pastor administrator at the community of St. Peter Church. So far, they've done three clothing drives for Metro Health's closet. We're very happy to let very ordinary, everyday things kind of be the, the medium of support and our way of, of manifesting our awareness and our willingness to help out. Uh, we're not going to quit. Now Metro has many more warm and happy patients. My mantra is everybody here is like our own family. And that's the dignity that we provide. Amanda Ben Allen, News 5.